Thank you very much, Jim. And let's thank Jim for the great job that he and Michelle are doing at this convention. Thank you very much. I like the introduction that starts out, hey, here's Tom, he was sworn in in 2015. Okay, get started, all right? Uh, it's nice, next time I'll make sure I bring chapter two of the family biography and we can go into that. Uh, good morning to all of you. It's great to be with all of you. Yeah, we can do that. It can be like a Republican revival. Good morning to all of you. Good morning, everybody. Yeah. It's great to be with all of you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for everything you do for our party and for our shared cause. What a night we had last night. Electronic ballots. I'm sorry, Jennifer, too soon? She says too soon. Great candidates and great parties. Congratulations to our U.S. Senate candidates, Karen Housley and Jim Newberger. We got that done last night, but we got a lot of work to do today. And before we get started, uh, uh, there's a few people that I'd like to thank, and I know uh, Jennifer's been doing all the thanking, but why don't we start by thanking our party chair and all our party officers and all the great volunteers who have worked so hard to put this great convention on. Thank you so much. Great job. <laughs> Next, I don't think we do it enough. Can we thank all our military veterans and active servicemen and women and any law enforcement that are here today, please stand so that we can recognize you. Thank you. Now as I get started, I also want to recognize, as Jim already did, my best friend and my bride, the mother of our seven awesome children, Jackie. Thank you, Jack. Thanks for everything you do. And I do that because when Jackie and I were talking this morning before she gave me that second uh, shot of espresso, actually it's the fourth shot, uh, she didn't know I already had one. I got up earlier than she did. Uh, she asked, what are you going to talk about this morning, Tom? The work at the convention was long last night, and everyone went to all the great receptions and the parties after that. Now it's early morning on Saturday. Then she said, you know, you've talked to enough locker rooms in your life. Give us one of those locker room pep talks. Please give us some good news. So let's set the stage. Look around. We're all on the same team. We don't have to live in the same neighborhood. We don't have to look the same. We don't have to sound the same. We don't have to agree on everything. We don't have to even like the same things. Heck, we don't even have to like each other. No, it's true, we don't. But that doesn't change, and you're gonna hear from another great team guy. You heard from Phil Housley last night. I'm telling you, you're gonna hear from a guy named Pete Stauber that we all know. He knows team. We know team. You don't have to live together. You don't have to be close friends, but you do have to be a team. You need to work together. We need to match our strengths and limit our weaknesses. So together, together next fall, we can turn Minnesota red. All right, so let's get started. When he was campaigning, our president, Donald J. Trump, told us if he was elected, the United States of America and the forgotten men and women in this country are going to win so much, we're going to get tired of winning. Yeah. If if you listen to the mainstream, the national news, all you ever hear about is Russia, Stormy, or some tweet. But while our media is distracted, the president and you and me, we are winning. Whether it's rolling back excessive, redundant, and unnecessary Obamacare or Obama regulation, passing the most significant tax legislation in 30 years, rewriting trade agreements to make them fair, not just for our trading partners, but for Americans, whether it's rolling back parts of the uh, Dodd-Frank law that are killing our Main Street community lenders, or shall I say, one of the biggest, appointing someone to the United States Supreme Court that will actually apply the Constitution. What do you think about Neil Gorsuch? 
Whether it's getting out of bad deals negotiated by Barack Obama, Joe Biden, or John Kerry, not the least of which was the appeasement deal with Iran, addressing, addressing the issue the Chinese current, the issue of Chinese currency manipulation and technology le uh, theft. And if that all wasn't enough, and there's a lot more, he's now moving to hopefully denuclearize the Korean Peninsula. Why do I quickly go through these? Because we are winning, and I don't care what anybody tries to tell you. We are winning. So my question to you this morning, to all of us this morning, is are you tired of winning? No! I'm not either. Now we have to continue what we've started. Again, the national pundits want us to believe there is a blue wave on the horizon, but that's not no blue wave. That's not what we're seeing. And that's not what today's numbers are telling us. In fact, the congressional generic ballot is the best, I'll emphasize it again, the best it has been for Republicans since 2016. But they don't want to tell you that. That's right. But keep in mind, that doesn't mean winning in November is going to come easy, especially here in Minnesota. We've got work to do. Remember, Minnesota hasn't elected a Republican presidential candidate since 1972, as Jennifer just told you. I want to add another one. She told you that we have the possibility of having six out of eight U.S. representatives in our delegation. Ladies and gentlemen, we have not had a Republican congressional majority since 1982. That's 36 years. I think that's too long. Do you think that's too long? Yeah. Don't worry, Jackie, I'm happy, I'm not mad. It's just my face, it makes me look angry. I'm gonna go back to it, 36 years is too long, it's time for that to change. So here's the call to action. After we finish our business here today, we leave unified, we leave energized, we leave with a mission, a mission to one, re-elect our Republican majority in the Minnesota House of Representatives. <laughs> Two, preserve our majority in the Minnesota Senate by electing Jeff Howe. <laughs> Elect Pam Myra, our state auditor. <laughs> Elect John Howe as our Secretary of State. <laughs> Elect Doug Wardlow as the first Republican Attorney General since 1961. And, and all of us together are going to grab that rope and we are not only going to do those at this state level, but we, you and I, are going to elect a Republican governor in the state of Minnesota for next session. All right. I gotta wrap it up, all the bells are gonna be going off. They'll turn the mic off in a second. That's not enough, folks. That's not enough, as Jennifer was just telling you. We have the greatest opportunity since Dave Durenberger and Rudy Boschwitz to elect two Republicans to the United States Senate. You and I, we need to elect Jim Newberger and Karen Housley to the United States Senate. And here we go. We not only have to hold the three congressional seats, the three seats we have in the U.S. House of Representatives, but I'm going to ask you, are we ready to roll up our sleeves and help Jim Hagedorn win and represent Minnesota's first congressional district? Are we ready to help Dave Hughes win and represent Minnesota's seventh congressional district? And last but not least, are we ready to make Duluth's own Pete Stauber the next U.S. representative from Minnesota's 8th Congressional District? Yeah! All right, I'm going to close. Lastly, I want you to know I would never ask any of you to do something that Jackie and I and our team wouldn't also be doing ourselves. I guarantee you that Tom Emmer will be doing his part. I guarantee you that Team Emmer will be doing our part. We have been raising money and donating to support our federal candidates and will continue to do that. We will again run a ground operation in Minnesota's 6th Congressional District to make sure we turn out the vote for our statewide and legislative races and 
as the deputy chair of the National Republican Congressional Committee, I am committed to work hard every day to make sure we never hear the three worst possible words in politics. Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Okay, that's it. The table's set. Remember, when we're done today, we're going home. We're going to tell our family, our friends, and our co-workers, our neighbors, now is the time to unite for November. Good luck to all our candidates today. Remember, together we can and we will turn Minnesota red. May God bless all of us, and may God continue to bless the United States of America. Thank you.